name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. For my new subscribers, I am an activity program and events director for Medical Lodges The Osho. And that is my full-time job, which I absolutely love. So I started my YouTube channel because I do a lot of DIY projects and I craft for home and for work on a budget. And so I don't love to spend a lot of money on things that are just for a season. And even though I love to change things up and make things new and fresh, and I like to have my home and I love to have my work home look fresh and beautiful, I don't really love to spend a lot of money doing it. So I have always DIYed my projects and brought new things in. So I use my DIY projects. I don't just create them for content on YouTube, which I did create my YouTube channel because I um, DIY my project and I love to craft. That is my relaxation, that is my passion, and that is what I absolutely love to do to zone out and, and just kind of um, make the world go away. But that, so that is why I created my YouTube channel. But I do absolutely use everything that I create, and I have created a, a few things that I haven't actually filmed and um, made content. So I will show you a little overview of what my December looked like. So welcome to my home and welcome to my work home. I have to confess I'm probably the least decorated house on my block, but I promised that I would show you how I styled my pool noodle snowman and this is what I came up with. I put a dollar tree, four foot tree in my wheelbarrow in my front yard and put some lights on it. And then I put my snowman on either side of the little fences in my front yard. I added a little bit of greenery. I had some swags that I DIY'd from the Dollar Tree Christmas trees, and I added them to the top of the little snowman hat along with the Dollar Tree little candy cane lights that they had come out with this year and that was all I did for the outside of my home. Moving on inside to the entryway are the DIY projects that I have put together for this year and some treasures that my mother had created several years back that I put out. From year to year um, she had crafted the little old world Santas that I have in my entryway and I put that along with the raffia tree and the little wood plank tree that I made. And on my sideboard, I put the DIY tree that I had done earlier in the previous Christmas video. It is the Grandin Road tabletop tree dupe that I did. I really don't go overboard. I don't take pictures down off my wall and I don't add Christmas pictures in. I just kind of decorate around what I have up year round. I know a lot of people really enjoy new decor on their wall, but that's just really not something that I enjoy doing. I have the DIY Christmas Village Lantern on my coffee table, and my Christmas tree is the snowman theme that I decided to go with this year, and I just DIY'd everything on the tree this year. I have pieces that I use from year to year. I purchase them, I love them, and I just can't stand not to use them. And so I tend to use them. Uh, some of them are have been gifted to me by loved ones that are not with me anymore. And so I just bring them out at Christmas because I'm just sentimental that way. And it's just part of the Christmas tradition in my home. And so I, used picks from the Dollar Tree and I added those into my tree to bring in the different metallics and the different patterns and that's what I did with my tree this year and that's how I decided to go with the styling and add to the snowman thing. I do like to change things up and I do like to add in some new things but I like to create them myself because I really just don't like to spend a lot of money. They're only going to be out for a few short weeks, but I think it is fun to have new things. I just don't like to spend a lot of money on them. I 
decided to DIY my table. I decided to mix the black and red buffalo check in with the gingham black and white check this year along with adding in the silver and gold metallics and that was kind of my changing things up a little bit and adding things in because I like the silver and gold and I really liked mixing the patterns. The tree that I have in the dining room I decided to use from the theme that I'd had in years past and it was it's the most wonderful time of the year and I had a wine theme going on and so I decided to put a smaller tree in the dining room and, and kind of bump off that theme and they are all things that I had DIY'd in previous years and so I just used them in this tree and kind of made it work because I do have a little bit of a wine decor in my dining room. I have always liked this tree with the twine covered small wine bottles and the grapes in the tree and the grape vine and the wine glasses with the cardinals perched on the side and all of it is Dollar Tree items over the years that I have done myself and so I just kind of hold on to them because I like them and I bring them out year after year. Next year I probably will use them again. I am a huge fan of the black and red buffalo check because to me it's very traditional and so there is my snowman garland. I wanted to bring a little bit of the snowman theme into the dining room so I put the snowman garland on my hutch and I thought it kind of added a little bit of a running theme throughout the house. Along the top of the dining room there's a shelf that holds a lot of treasures from my grandparents and so I just added the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. They came out with them last year. They had them in the stores this year and the different plaid patterns and the buffalo check and the black and white gingham check and so I just added those in to the my different patterns this year. I just kind of liked mixing the patterns this year and I did not do a whole lot in the kitchen. I just added a couple of the Dollar Tree signs and they had the beautiful cutting boards this year and I just added those in for a little bit of a touch. My kitchen is small, you still have to cook in there so I did not want a lot of clutter around. In the family room where we watch our football I just added a little bit of touch here and there and I had on the blanket chest that we use for a coffee table just a tear tray that I got from the Dollar Tree and some very older ornaments and um, Santa from my aunt and just a few little things of my mother's that she likes to have displayed at Christmas. I went with the snowman theme because my mother loves snowman. This little tree, I forget where she purchased it. It was a mail order type tree and every month the manger scene came in different pieces and she had purchased it when my father was bed bound and she wanted this little tree to go by his bed so that he could enjoy it and so this is a sentimental tree for her and so we put it out every year it is porcelain it is gorgeous and every piece is hand painted and she really enjoys this little tree. By the time she paid for each piece every month it cost a pretty penny so we put it out every year. At work we decided to do a Yankee Doodle dandy Christmas and so our trees were red white and blue. My girl Tanya have found a gnome similar to this for $40 at a local store and I remade this for around 15 out of a tomato cage. There is the wreath that I mentioned in a previous video. It's a commercial size wreath and I made it out of hula hoops and I wanted one that was red, white, and blue with Christmas garland. So there are our Yankee Doodle Christmas trees. We did two parades this year. We did Neosha, Missouri and Joplin, Missouri. They are the two largest parades in our area. And we did Neosha one Saturday night and then the next Tuesday night we did Joplin. And we passed out. 3,200 glow sticks in the Joplin Parade. 
we took our residents and they followed in the van behind us and we gave them a microphone and I pulled a speaker along in front of the van and they were able to holler out Merry Christmas along the parade route and it was a hoot and a half. If you have never done a parade, then you don't know the fun that you are missing. In Joplin, Missouri, there is a park, Mercy Park, and it is where the old St. John's Hospital stood when the tornado happened in Joplin, Missouri in 2011. And it has grown, the trail of trees has grown from 10 trees to 45. And when they are lighted, it is simply magnificent. And 45 businesses design a tree and they put it in the park from Thanksgiving to January the 2nd. And we love to participate in this event. Now I'm a huge fan of the theater. So my sister and my niece and I went to see Elf in Springfield, Missouri. And then the Kansas City Southern and Canadian Pacific Railroad brought the Christmas train to Joplin, Missouri. And it was a very lively event. We had a great time. We went to Racing Christian Church in Racing, Missouri to see the journey to Bethlehem. It's a mile and a half, and you start in Nazareth, and you end up in Bethlehem at the manger, and it is absolutely breathtaking. It's a wonderful event, and one of the ladies looked at me and said, now it feels like Christmas, and I had to agree. At Medical Lodges and Yesha, we had a Pictures with Santa event. We had it at our open house. We had families. We had fur babies little ones and young and old alike. Everyone loves Santa and we had a beautiful open house event that evening. Our group went to Precious Moments Chapel in Carthage, Missouri. Sam Butcher is world renowned for his artistry and his Precious Moments figurines. At Christmas time everything is lit up and it is just beautiful there was a Candyland theme this year, and it was truly spectacular, and it is just absolutely wonderful. And on Friday and Saturday nights, there is live music going on in the chapel. There is a monastery in Carthage, Missouri, and they have the Way of Salvation, and it's an over one million light display. That is a drive-through display, donation only, and it is truly mind-blowing, magnificent. I can't say enough about it, and we went and I don't know, there's just something calming and beautiful about seeing the way of salvation lit up in lights. It is truly spectacular and they seem to add to it every year. And we just kind of sat in the tunnel and watched the lights change and over the top of our vehicle and just kind of, it was just magical. And we went to Sparkle in the Park in Carthage and they had carriage rides in Central Park and we went to the Mercy Park in Joplin. We went to the Big Spring Park in Neosho, and we went to Mount Moriah and watched the lights dance to the music and everything that was magical about the holiday season we tried to take in and experience because you may not get to experience that the next year. Never put off anything that you might possibly want to do because you think that you might get to do it next year because you never have the promise of a next year. You don't really have the promise of tomorrow. So we got out and we just enjoyed the entire holiday season. So my Halophagmas season, which is what I call it, it starts right after Labor Day and I run my bucket off until the first of the year. But it's coming to an end. And even though that is kind of sad, I'm tired, but I'm kind of sad, but I'm kind of joyful because I felt like it was a really successful season. And I'm looking forward to the next year to see exactly what I can come up with for next year that is new and fresh and 
um, it has some sparkle to it. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video. Give me a thumbs up and welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you stick around for the coming year and 